we are going to go through our new WIOA program free application process on our CT Hires website. So I'm going to take you through it step by step to show you just how simple it is to access the WIOA funds. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to share our screen. All right, so welcome to the CT Hire registration page. So what I did was I created a little I call it my little um, sample account. Okay. And this is gonna help us get into the system so we can walk you straight through the pre-application. One moment. All right, so I'm gonna sign into the free application. And the first page that I'm gonna see, let me close out of this, is going to be the welcome to my individual workspace, um, Ms. Dowings. That's, that's the name I'm using for tonight to walk you find people through. So the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna scroll to the bottom. Cause I'm looking for the WIOA pre-application so once you scroll down mid page you're going to run into create WIOA pre-application right in the middle section of your page if you take a look right there so when i hit create wheel of pre-application i'm going to get a couple of questions this is a summary page um please review the summary of the WIOA program and the purpose of the pre-application if you're interested in having staff contact you to find out more about program services and your eligibility please click on the next button and complete the short WIOA questionnaire that follows. So we just need to know a few things about you to help you with the eligibility so that we can have our staff give you a call and finalize your application. So each time you complete a section, what's gonna happen is if the line that's directly underneath start is gonna turn green each time you enter what you need into the system all the way to the very end and then it's gonna summarize everything you enter. And then what happens is within the next 72 hours or so, one of our staff people will be contacting you. So let's go take a walk through it together. So, all right, what is the WIOA pre-application? This pre-application provides a way for individuals to get started with determining eligibility for WIOA services. Using the information you provided during registration in combination with the, with the input you provided during the next few steps, we will determine whether you may be eligible for any available programs. Please be aware that this does not guarantee eligibility, but it will indeed put you on the right track to meeting with staff and determining what type of training and fundings are available. So let's get started. All right, first section is around education. Previously, you stated that the highest level of education you achieved was one year of college or technical or vocational school. So what the pre-application is doing it is drawing down the information that you initially put in your CT hires registration. So a lot of the information you they may be the same. So if you forgot something, it's easy to just go back and make a switch. So what is your current school status? And I'm gonna put exactly what was in there now. No, I'm not attending any school. Then it's gonna scroll down to your employment information. What is your current employment status? never worked is what i gave as the um registration piece when i did my ct high registration it's very important that you do ct high registration prior to the pre-application um the system is very sensitive so it may not let you move on to the next step if you don't register but you want to register so you can see and learn about all the array of services that we have so next i'm gonna hit and look at the bottom. If you have to update your registration information, you can click here. It's going to send you back to the registration information and you can fill in whatever you forgot in the beginning. So I'm going to hit next. There we go. All right, next. Um, previously, you stated that you classify yourself as not having a disability 
and you have um and you're not having any military experience if this is accurate continue by clicking next otherwise so you just hit next if, all right then it asks about family size and income so this is a very simple question how many individuals that are in your family and what was your family income for the last 12 months um you want to add that in and then you want to also take a look at the public assistance information tanf is temporary family assistance for needy families what that means is that you're receiving cash assistance grant from the department of social services so if you don't know what that means that's what it means as well as ssi ssdi um any rep refugee cash assistance um food stamps also which would be the snap program so whatever applies to you you want to click it okay individual barriers are you a displaced homemaker? Um, you or one of your family members have difficulty understanding English. We want you to check off on whatever you think applies to you in your family. All right, so the next step is your documentation upload. This is a very important page because it helps us determine the eligibility of any potential we or participant. So what happens is you're going to click on your documentation and you can upload it from home. So if I want to upload my social security card, I will click on my social security card and it'll let me know what form of social security documentation is acceptable. So once I upload everything that applies to the WIOA grant, I need my date of birth, something that documents that, Family size, um, it can be um, your SNAP benefit information that could be easily accessed at Department of Social Services or for your convenience, we can actually look that up. So once you have a conversation with the WIOA representative that will be conducting your eligibility, what you can do is you can have that conversation around family size and what kind of suitable documentation is needed and how we can assist on our end to help you. Um, also educational status documents, um, level of education, your citizenship, very important. Um, whether we, we would need to know what your citizenship status is to proceed with the WIOA um, approval. Your address and of course your social security number. So these forms are easily uploaded. If you have a scanner at home or if you have your cell phone, you could take a picture or um, you might actually be savvy and go in there and actually pull it out of your documents. I've tried it a number of times and you upload it into the system. It's actually quite friendly once you get to know. But if you have any issues with uploading your documents and you're unable to do it when you initially do your pre-application, we would definitely assist you with that process the second one of our staff people contact you in reference to your WIO eligibility. So it's really important that you share um, a telephone number that we can reach you at, an alternate number, and definitely meet your email address because we'll be reaching out to you the second we get your application to make sure that we get you in and either off the training, um, any type of training program that you're interested in, or if you just want to find employment and you'd like to work with our business services unit or with Department of Labor. You wanna make sure that you get that done. What's next? Okay, thank you for filling out the pre-application based on the information provided. We have found that you may be eligible for WIOA adult services. The difference between the adult services and the dislocated worker, um, dislocated worker just basically means that you were working and you became recently unemployed and you're receiving, um, you're receiving unemployment benefits. So we would register you in our system as a dislocated worker. If not, you're considered to be an adult either working and then the eligibility specialist they're the experts so they'll explain to you um what the criteria is all right so what's next our staff will contact you regarding your eligibility to the WIOA program to continue with your eligibility please review the document list as the documents are be required to complete your eligibility during the eligibility interview additional questions will be asked so now you can view 
the summary of your report, which mine wouldn't be too much because I really don't have a report in the system. And you can also review all the documents that you uploaded to ensure that your documents actually got uploaded. If it didn't, we can definitely work with you. So I think this is the end. So once again, it was it was a, it was nice to assist you with the pre-application process. I wish you luck with all your business ventures, and we would definitely be in contact with you around about I would say 72 hours after your application is received. Our staff will be picking up. Um, as the vice president of operations, my name is Daniel Turner. You can easily give me a call on my main line 203-953. 3268, and I can also answer any questions that you may have about the pre-application process as well as the WIOA program. Have a good evening, everyone.